Here's a look at some moments in history from the past week. On October 16, 1859, abolitionist John Brown and allies raided Harper's Ferry in the hopes a broader slave revolt would begin. After seizing the U.S. Armory in West Virginia, John Brown and his team hunkered down for two days until military forces led by U.S. Army Colonel Robert E. Lee killed and captured the surviving rebels. John Brown was later tried in court and hanged in December. The world watched as the United States and the Soviet Union faced the threat of nuclear war. On October 16, 1962, the Cuban Missile Crisis began when the U.S. discovered nuclear missile sites under construction in Cuba. For 13 days, President Kennedy and his administration navigated the confrontation with Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev and the Soviet military. The U.S. military set up a naval blockade, and President Kennedy warned that an attack on the Western Hemisphere would be met with a full retaliation. After tense negotiations, a diplomatic resolution was reached, and the Soviets agreed to dismantle the arsenal in Cuba. We have been determined not to be diverted from our central concerns by mere irritants and fanatics. But now further action is required, and it is underway and these actions may only be the beginning. We will not prematurely or unnecessarily risk the course of worldwide nuclear war in which even the fruits of victory would be ashes in our mouth. But neither will we shrink from that risk at any time it must be faced. And that's a look at what happened this week in history. American History TV has programs on these topics in our archives. You can watch them online at cspan.org slash history.